Okay, guys. So we're going to talk about a, um, a software, online software program that's absolutely free. Now, I do have a paid version. It allows me to do transparent backgrounds. We'll get into that. But this is a free version. So just take a look. And honestly, if you didn't even want to do websites, if you're looking for a side gig, think about social media. How are you good at social media? Do you have engagement? Well, you could reach out to a business. There's so many businesses, they're inundated. They don't want to do social media at the bottom line. They're just too busy. So if you're able to do good posts and use their logo or, um, you know, some of the images, you guys can, you know, you could go through the business. Uh, you could go through some posts with the business owner, kind of get an idea of what, what they're looking for to post. And then you could just simply design posts here. So I'll show you how to do that. All right. Let me move myself out of the way once again. So the um, program is Canva, C-A-N-V-A. Let's go right from the top. So when you're going to get on, this will be the main page. It'll have all your designs. It stores your designs. Some of these are going to look familiar to you because I'm on YouTube. I have a channel. I'll put a link if you guys don't mind liking my channel. That would be great. Some of the designs that I've done, this was the advertisement for, um, you know, for learning how to design a website. It has photos too in it, and I'll show you another area where to get those photos as well. But they have a ton of photos. Now remember, we talked about Pixabay and Unsplash in the last video. You can get your pictures from there. Some of these are going to be the same, exact same that you would find on Unsplash and Pixabay. So you can go through that. You can see what some of the trending photos are, and, and all of these would be... Um, for you to use. Some of them are free, like this one is free. It's beautiful, right? Sun, sunflowers, but I like sunflowers. Maybe you don't. So it all has to do with branding and whatnot. Um, some of them will be paid. It'll say where it's paid. So those are the um, photos. Branding kit. This is all down the left-hand side. I'm going through one at a time. So what's nice about branding kit? You're going to design a, a website, right? Or you're going to do social media and you're going to be working with a business. Well, most of them are going to have certain colors, right? We talked about websites having three colors, maybe four at most, but these are my colors for my website. Remember, I was talking to you about how I'm gearing my website in the past. I always have to woman. That's probably not a great idea especially since men design websites so I'm gonna to have to change up my coloring some but what happens is that you just you know you edit it choose whatever colors and then every time that you go to add a color to something that you're designing this will come up because these are the colors now um, Canva has its own colors and we'll get into that but there's ways that you can change it too and this just saves me time the same thing with the fonts when I go to add fonts to something um, I like Josephine and I like the playlist script so those are all set for me, ready to go. Here are my logos. I'm able to set up my logo, and um, I've also uploaded funds as well. So that's there. All right, what else can I tell you about? Now, if you're really, truly like interested in learning, go to the design school. It's right on the left. Some of this is going to be what you, we've already spoken about before, you know, with some of my videos. But more information doesn't really help. I heard it all right. Learn about branding your business. It takes about 20 minutes. Presentations, Canva for beginners. It's all right here. Creativity. I actually want to go through that because they have great designers on Canva. That's all they do is design. So even that... um the the article that I showed you before with the different fonts that was from Canva so they have some really good ideas all right so that's their design school and then what about actually creating okay so this is back to the home page again let's go to um, say I want to do like a social media post well here's a social media post you, these are all the templates again some of them are going to be free and others of them you're going to have to pay for but they're really easy because just look down on the left hand side. We talked about uploading images. You know, say you're working with a company, a lot of them are going to have images already that they're using, you know, for some of their marketing materials. Get grab those images, upload them, and start doing um start doing posts on them or websites, however you want to do it. Um, when we get into website design, this is a great area to keep in mind as far as images because whatever you're um, making here can then be brought over to a website. So on a website, you don't necessarily always see just a plain image, right? You see, um, you know, you may have some fonts on it, you may have some coloring, you may have a split screen, some of the... Um, some of it may be covered the you know the image itself may be covered with some font so these are all things that you can bring over to um, your website as well so just keep that in mind all right so what else can I tell you 
are, when we're doing backgrounds. Um, these are all backgrounds. Again, some of these are going to be free, some of them aren't. But there's all these that you can add. Say you want to just search it, like I want to do something blue. I want to do a blue background. You have the option of solid color right there. And all of these um, are options that you can do as far as if you wanted a background. Click it and just add it. Here's the text. You can just left right click it. Um, I'm sorry, um, click it. And then here are the, um, you know, to get rid of the font. Say you wanted to add font. That's the next. So these are the backgrounds. Okay, let's get into, let me move this over a little. Let's get into fonts themselves. Do you remember I said on the branding from that first page, the design school, that's where you're going to, um, I'm sorry, the brand kit is where you're going to um, change the font. But I want to get rid of this one because it's, and I'm going to just start adding fonts. My dog. This is my dog. All right. Um, let's do, what I'm going to do here is a really light background. Say we're just going to do, I, can, I just like pink. So sorry. And we're going to just do a really light one, okay? Although, um, probably not that one. And light. I just have to have it light, okay, so that we'll be able to see, because we're going to add some text. And if it's white, so remember, you will set these, but you can change them as well. So you just have to add that. I double clicked it, so I actually got two there. You just click it and edit it. You could make it bigger by this way. And if you don't like the font at all, um, remember to centralize it. You may want to, there's different ways that you can do this, but very simply just move the bars out to either side of the image and that's gonna center everything that you have. So if you don't like that, that's the Josephine Sands, click it going across. This is the fonts themselves, the size of the fonts, the colors, whether it's bold, italic, center, to the left, um, bullets, spacing, you can also copy it so you actually get a double one and that's real good you know that'll save you some time um position that has to do with uh, let me add something like another image and then you'll see bringing it forward and bringing it back so let's just get rid of this we don't need that right and this is spelled wrong but it doesn't really matter this is just for like um an example, look at all the different fonts that you have. Now, I do have the paid version, so maybe I have more, but I can tell you that Canva has a ton of fonts to choose from. There's so many. to, And then you have the option of uploading a font, but that's on the paid version, it looks like, because anything with a little crown is um, the paid version. So just take a look. There are tons. Again, um, you need to decide ahead of time what fonts you're going to use, or you know you get an idea just by hanging on here. Remember, this is a free program, so it's really easy. So that's just the background. Um, there is the font. Uh, you know, the font itself, say you wanted to change that, you would, um, you know, either click it, and if it's not changing, you can highlight it, and then click another one, that will do it sometimes, so lots of different things that you guys can do, all right, and um, remember, we talked about uploading image, what if you don't have an image, I don't have an image, let me work on, you know, what else can I do, all right, so then, they actually have images, which I spoke to you about before, so you could, um, trying to think like what's going to work here. You can add an image, right? Now, um, I'm going to move that back. going to move that forward. going to move this. There's a couple things. Take a look at the picture itself. And this has to do, um, like say, the font, right? I want to bring it on top. As long as it's highlighted, when you're highlighting, that has to do. We're going to move it forward. All right. And that's going to allow you to bring that font up on the image. Now, let's say we're talking about the image itself. What can you do with it? Well, you can make it transparent. A lot of times you'll take... Um, let me show you a, a kind of a filter thing. So say, for instance, you have um, that picture and you wanted to add the sky over it. And 
you kind of get a filtered effect with it. So there's lots of different things that you can do with Canva. Honestly, it's endless. I'm not even a graphic designer, but I can make things happen. You know, you can hire a graphic designer. It's going to take longer, but you could be a graphic designer just by playing with this stuff. It's easy. And again, remember I said like it's falling behind the image. So what do you do? You may have to, um, you know, pull it out, put this one down again, bring this one. And as long as it's the right one, you should be able to it's all layers it's done in layers all right so i think you get an idea here that has to do with we talked about text and image and um text image and background let's talk about what else do they have well they have some uh, let's see like some of them are cartoons you could use it as a logo if you wanted to do um, my recently used right because I talked about making money on YouTube so there's the little YouTube um, icon there's the money right I want to like make some money I'm talking about money so I'm going to put that in there remember this is free not all of them are free but you have an idea of what's here so you could search the something um, we talked about dog before right so let's talk about dog what comes up for dog um, you could put this little dog in here get rid of the money let's get rid of this stuff and put the little dog in here and then you know you could add font over here right and what you could do is bring it up and bring it narrow and then you know change the font but then you could do the font there's so many things you could do so let's go back again to the icons pause um again some of these are free some of these are going to be paid but you guys get the idea right uh what else can i tell you this may be a collage i don't i'm not really sure to be honest with you but back to the elements again so they have tons of different things. They have like picture frames. If you wanted to add frames, you guys can do a cutout, which is kind of nice. Um, let's see, let's get rid of that. Let's um, do that, we'll bring that in there. And then you wanted to add a picture to it. So we could do any picture. We could just do a picture of myself. And then what you do is you grab it and voila, it should be a circle. Now I have the pink here. So if I didn't want the pink there, um, let's see, like we're going to do an Instagram post just so that you guys know. Um, remember I talked about transparent background. This is just something that I'd like to show you. So we are going to do an Instagram post. We are going to do the frame, which I just had up. So it's most the re most recently is nice, right? So we have the frame all chosen. I'm going to do a picture of myself. And people are like, well, I don't understand. I don't know how to get it in. It, uh, I don't know what to say. You just grab it and then I don't know, it should go in there. Some people say it doesn't work for them, but I'm not, I don't think they're actually grabbing it and letting it go. So when you download it, you have the option of a PNG. A PNG is, um, well, it's like kind of, it can be transparent. A JPEG is not going to be transparent. You're going to get this white background around it. So if you get the paid version, you, I have the option of doing a transparent background. I can also compress the file. Um, there's ways to resize it. There's ways to, um, you know, just go through these at all. You up here, if I'm working on here, I could copy it. Um, I could put a link perhaps, lock it so I don't change the image at all. So lots of different things that you can do and you can see how easy it would be for you to create images for your website because, you know, you could just leave it as an image. We'll talk about that on the next setting. Finally, we're gonna get to creating um, website. But all this is important because you won't have a website or a good website unless you know how to do this. And believe me, it doesn't take long to learn Canva. It really doesn't. But um, so I would take this if I wanted to do like one of those circle images and you're wondering how does it happen? Well, I would just add a transparent background and I would just um, download it and I would download it as a PNG. You have the, uh, of the option of JPEGs or PDFs like for if you were going to do um, printed material. And so let's see, what else can I show you? 
So back to this, um, you guys should definitely go through this because there's different frames, there's different shapes, there's gradients that you could use, all these different icons like social media icons. Um, so you can see that if you were a graphic designer and you didn't have money to, to lay out ahead of time and you wanted to do a side gig, you guys can do this. I know you can. So I, if I can do this, you know, basic stuff and you guys, and I'm doing it in front of a camera, which I absolutely hate, but because I can never think on my toes like this, but um, this is really easy for you to, guys to do. So I think I covered pretty much everything in Canva. We're going to get on to doing the websites. Okay. So do me a favor, refresh, take a look at the next video and I will see you guys. All right. Bye.